Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Okay, thank you. Are you ready to start That's class? Very good. Yes, great. I'm happy to hear that, Mauricio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have one more minute <laughs> available for everybody to join. I will enable the waiting room. There we go. No, I disabled it. Yeah. Okay. How are you guys doing tonight? Are you guys okay? Hello, Sandra. Uh, hello, Norma. So tired. Tired? Hello. Oh, yes. Today is Friday. It's understandable. Finally. <laughs> yeah, finally. Uh, do you work on Saturdays? Not really. Okay. I have to be... Not really, uh, because you don't go to the office. But... Exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But do you do home office yeah, on Saturday? Sometimes, but I have to be uh, atenta al teléfono. Okay, I have to be pending on the phone, uh -huh. yeah, or attentive. Mm -hmm. yes. Hello, teacher. Okay. Good evening. Sorry. Hi, good evening, Jose Gerardo. Welcome. Eh, teacher, voy a estar de, de oyente por unos minutos. Ya me incorporaré nuevamente a participante. Okay, no problem, Jose Gerardo. Okay. So you are on call on Saturdays, Claudia. There you go. Mm -hmm. Thanks for Sundays too. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. But do you have any day off? Hi, good evening, Vladimir. Welcome. Do you yes, have I any... have. The oh, weekend, okay. but I have to be attend to their cell phone for oh. any need of the oh. day. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, people, I think it's time to start. Welcome everybody to your video conference number 10. <gasps> Half of the course, we have only 20 classes in every module. So today we are right in the middle of the way. So congratulations, you are doing a good job. I hope everybody is getting the goals that you have proposed and um, propose yourself, right? And I hope everything goes well with these classes and everything is getting clear for you and you are learning more, expanding your vocabulary and also learning, practicing your grammar and so on, right? Okay, people, I hope everybody is ready. Today we have the uni to review and practice, okay? Uni to review and practice. What is the topic for unit two? Do you remember? The topic for unit two, the main uh, topic. We could say the chapter, right? The chapter title. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? It starts with an S. Half and 
the letter S. Staff and schedules, guys. Staff and schedules. Staff and schedules. Hey, come on. Everybody, we started the class already. Okay. <laughs> Unit two is about staff and schedules. So we are talking about the people in the company, their roles, their everyday tasks, and also the time frame they work, the schedule they have, the kind of schedule they have, because some of them have a different schedule than mine. And maybe I am not hired for doing a kind of activities because I'm not qualified for that, but they are. All right, so this is what unit two is about. And we want to complete this unit talking about schedules, okay? We are going to complete this unit talking about schedules. Let's remember, what schedule? What is it? Can you define schedule? Schedule, what is that? A definition for schedule? Yes, some program of plan. Okay, mm -hmm. what does it contain? What does it contain? Contain a number of the person. And the name, the name of the person, the, right? Uh -huh. The name, the person, um, the hour. Como se dice el lapso de tiempo? Time frame. Time frame. Mm -hmm. and the time frame they work. Mm -hmm. They work, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, that schedule. Schedule is a specific time for a specific task for a specific responsible or person, right? We define that in the list like an agenda, okay? Like an agenda. We define when. We are doing what and who is doing that activity. So let's remember who, when, and what, okay? Who, when, and what for a schedule. It's really important to ask when or what time, right? How often is to analyze, okay? Is the analysis of a schedule. When you say, how often does someone do this and that? Then you say, hmm. They do it that daily. They do that um, once a week. They always do that. They never do that. They seldom do that. So there are tasks, frequencies. Um, and also this makes easier the analysis um, of the function of the company. I mean, in operations or operational, uh, in the operational way, right? Okay, people, so today we are going to start with the schedules, even though we started yesterday, but now we are going to finish the schedule thing, okay? So um, yesterday we were studying about the schedule of a restaurant, remember? We talked about the schedule of people, the time frame they work, what do they do, right? For example, the cook, the manager, the order taker, and so on. So now we are going to uh, continue with this, but I want to show you just as a manner of a review, okay? As a manner of review, I want you to see these vocabulary we were studying yesterday. Okay, because it's important for us to, to master uh, how to express tasks, how to express everyday tasks or responsibilities, responsibilities. Okay, so allow me to go over here and you are going to read them. This is one of the, the slides from yesterday and it's really important because it's the vocabulary from yesterday. So let's read it. It says, he assists clients every day. A ver, who wants to open the microphone and read this one? 
Evelyn doesn't answer her. The phone. The phone. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Next. Able doesn't open the store every morning. Thank you. Next one. Uh, Eric cleans up the waiting room. Thank you. Next one. Rita makes coffee. Thank you. Next one. Uh, Michael works on the stats. Very good. Next one. I analyze the data. Thank you. And the last one. I help to create new marketing strategies. Thank you. Now I will show you some others, okay? We didn't see this yesterday, but we uh, know that this happened, right? Who wants to read this one? The first one. Rosa and Lucia done right reports. Very good. Next one, please. Wilbera and, and I don't send email. Very good. Next one. Uh, Google manages the sales team schedules. Schedules. Thanks. Schedules. Ahí no tengan miedo de decirlo esto como una Y, ¿verdad? Schedules. Uh -huh. okay. yeah. uh -huh. Es que se, eso suena así porque este sería un sonido largo de la U. El sonido largo de la U es tal como es el nombre de la U. U. Pero como se une con este sonido D, acá, ¿verdad? De la letra D, por eso suena así. Schedules. <coughs> Okay. Schedules. Uh -huh. Ahí no tengan miedo. Esta palabra se dice así y, y siempre se va a decir así. Schedules. Schedules. Y si es solo uno, schedule. Y si es el verbo, to schedule. Schedule. A ver, abran su micrófono porque esto tiene que quedar bien aprendido. Esa palabra, vamos a ver. Schedule. 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 Siempre tengamos cuidado en la pronunciación porque a veces es por la pronunciación que no comprendemos lo que nos están diciendo, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros, como nosotros lo pronunciamos de una manera, creemos que así lo deben pronunciar el, el que me lo está hablando. Y a veces eso nos dificulta el entenderlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso es necesario... ¿Dónde estamos? Ven a abrir, hija, por favor. ¿Qué? Okay. Thank you very much, everybody, for participating. But let's take care of our audio. Watch it out, all right? Okay, people. So, um, muchas veces sucede que no entendemos al que nos está hablando, pero no es porque no sepamos lo que dice, sino que porque la pronunciación que nosotros hacemos creemos que es la correcta. Entonces, no, hay que tener ese cuidado, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, esta palabra comienza con una letra S. Cuando una palabra comienza con letra S en inglés, no vamos a decir el nombre de la letra S. Vamos a decir el sonido de la letra. El sonido es Así empieza porque es el sonido, ¿ok? Schedule, school, span, span, ¿ok? So, no vamos a decir school, ¿verdad? No vamos a decir schedule, no. Vamos a decir schedule, ¿ok? Are we okay, guys? Yeah. Say. Ok. Mm -hmm. Say. Schedule. No, en sale. 
problema no es de sale. Ah, no, esa, esa no es problema porque es una vocal, ¿verdad? La que sigue después de la S, entonces es normal, sales. Ah. Sales. Esta, yeah. Este sonido que les okay. digo es cuando está unido con otra consonante, ¿verdad? Yeah. Por ejemplo, SC, S, C, schedule, school, schedule. o S, P, S, T. Entonces, acordémonos que vamos a hacer st. Ok, there you go. Okay, people, so let's continue. I collect money, money from clients. I collect money from clients. Who wants to read the next one? Who I wants? said the product. Thank you. Next one. I buy the wrap material. Materials. Material. Yes. Thank you. Next one. I take pictures and videos. And videos. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Norma. Next one. I train the new employees. Very good. And that's a very good pronunciation of this train. 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 Yes, you did it good. All right, train. people. So these are activities that someone does in a company, right? So now, please. Think about 10, 10 activities you do in your company, but not only you. Please think about the activities that everybody around you does. For example, like this one, Rosa and Lucia don't write reports or Rosa and Lucia write reports, all right? Estoy hablando de dos personas más. I'm talking about two more people. And you can talk about all the people around you. Ten activities. Ten activities right now. Everybody, please. Thinking about those ten. Okay, I'll give you one minute to start. And then, okay, I'll, I'll give you one minute right now. Ten activities that you and your co-workers do in your company. You can take examples from the vocabulary we learn, okay? You can take examples from here. Okay, how's it going? How many do you have, Nelly? Three. Three, all right, continue, mm. continue. And how many do you have, Mauricio? Four. Four, continue, please, continue. Wendy, how many activities do you have? One. All right, continue, please, continue. Norma, how many do you have? Three, teacher. Okay, continue, please. Emerson, how many? Three. Three, okay, continue, continue. Right now, I am going to call the role, okay? But instead of saying present, you are going to tell one activity. It doesn't matter that it is not your activity, but another person in the company, okay? Agree? Yes, miss. Okay, I will call the role. So please everybody get ready. Vladimir, 
you are going to be the first one. So how many activities do you have on your list? Okay. Okay. I check emails every morning. There you go. Uh-huh. I am. Very good, Vladimir. Yes. Okay. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto, or oh, she's as a listener tonight. Thank you. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Elizabeth attends client. Yes. Right. Okay. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Not yet. Yeah. Okay, Darío. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Okay. Carlos and let's write the daily, the daily report. <laughs> okay, can you repeat it? Carlos and Leslie write the daily reports. Excellent, hey. there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Daisy Elizabeth Trecinos Alvarez. Daisy? Not yet, Daisy. Oh, I'm a funny there. Okay, vamos a ver. Um, Eduardo Franco Núñez. I saw request. I saw solve. 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 All oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Requests. Requests. There you go. Requests. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eduardo. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, miss. Mm -hmm. I have four, four sentences. Okay, please go ahead. Who is in charge of the leader? Mario prepared the fortune crowd. Juan okay. is an inspector of the importation product. Leonor is scheduling the scent product. The scent? Scent products? Scent products. Uh, okay. Uh, scent without letter S at the end, right? Because uh, it's like an adjective in this case. Yeah, so sent uh, is a uh, past participle, so it doesn't have a letter S, all right? So the la the other one was the first one, littering. Did you say littering? Slitter. Slitter. Uh, and what is that? Is it a tool? It's a tool. It's a mechanic for the cutting. Oh, okay, for cutting. All right. Thank you. I had a vague idea. Okay, there okay. you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Imelda, thank you very much, Emerson. You did a really good job. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Miss Imelda. Imelda, instead of saying present, you have to say an activity that you or your co-workers do in the company. Imelda. Okay. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Miss Irma. Present. Uh -huh. um, Elena checked the emails and coordinates what the clients. Okay, very uh, good. Checks. 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 Mm -hmm. um, Sonia uh -huh. reads report in the morning. Very good. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Thank you. And Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Jose Alexander. I saw he was there, but no, he isn't, right? Okay, I missed. Okay, there you go. 
José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Hello, present. Uh, okay. My example, Carlos Tests tests the host. The the host. The host. Host. Like. Host. Yeah. Host. yeah. All right. The host. All right. Thank you. Okay. They are going to think about again, right? <laughs> yeah, because of the sign I said. I did. All right. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Ah, he was on his way home. Yes. All right. Don't worry, Jose Gerardo. You are going to say it later. Uh, Karen Janet Gran Granado Sorellana. Miss Karen. Yes. Um, I have five. <laughs> okay. Tell us. Mm -hmm. Um, I am tell the providers. Daisy is in chair of the administrative area. Tatiana is in charge of collections. I am in charge of serving the associates. 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 Okay. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the first one, can you repeat the first one? I am called the providers. Uh, proveedores. Okay, I use, okay, we have to use only the to be verb or the verb, but it is the action. So for example, you say, I am, mm -mm, I call only, I call the providers or the suppliers, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. In that case, I think it is better if you say suppliers, suppliers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A los proveedores, okay? Yes. Okay, it's better the word suppliers. All right, there you go. Mm -hmm. Luis Javier Castillo. Luis, not Luis, tonight. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Oh, she called me that she was going to be as a listener, but she's going well. So, all right. One more moment. Marina Jancy Sandoval Bonilla. Miss Marina. Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Present chief. Teacher, Julia, Julia writes report production. I, I answer uh -huh. what I read email. I answer email. Okay. I make I I make um absentees absentee absentee. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. I do a meeting of the supervisor and okay. I counter production. Okay, we have to be more um, certain about the verbs we are using. For example, in the first one, you said that a girl is writing the production reports. Okay, so you have to uh -huh. say they production reports okay the production reports no reports production uh -huh, uh -huh, okay uh -huh. thank you they production reports they production if it is report. only one then it's the production yeah. report if okay. they are more reports then the production reports and then you production said something report. about that you take the absentism right uh, mm -hmm. the word is like this like this, okay. absentism. Uh, and the the other one, you said, I do the supervisor's meeting. Is is that what you uh, said? I, I okay. do supervisor uh -huh. meeting. Okay. We don't say that way. We say, I, si yo lo dirijo, yo puedo decir, I direct. Pero si yo la organizo, más que todo sería organize. Okay, I organize. Uh -huh or coordinate, uh, right? I organize okay. the supervisor's meeting, okay? I see, I organize the supervisor's meeting, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, yeah. Instead of do the meeting of supervisors, okay? We say, I organize the supervisor's meeting. Okay, there you go. 
mm, let's continue with the list, guys. And the next one is Nelly Lilibet, Andrade Garcia. I have eight. Okay, tell us at least three, okay? Yes, okay. Uh -huh. I know you were good in gra uh, at grammar. Okay. Maria Jose schedule manager's activities. Okay. Um, the manager doesn't prepare his own coffee. Again, the manager? The manager doesn't prepare his own coffee. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. I communicate with local government technicians every weekday. Oh, very good. Uh, but you said in missions or for missions? It depends. For um, you communicate or you call? Communicate. Uh huh. Communicate with local government technicians. Uh, I don't understand that the last word. Uh, call commissions, commissions, no, te technicians. Oh, Commission. technicians. All right, there you go. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Um, that was the last one. All right. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Um, and there was the monthly accounting. Oh, good, good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Nelly. Now you are present. There you go. Norma Patricia, Viuda de Arre Vasquez. Present teacher. Okay, tell um, us. Okay, Atilio don't, don't not drive in the morning. Lucia eats lunch at 12 o'clock. Gabriel drive every morning. Miguel go to bank. Um, Jessica um, not cleans the office. Uh, Marisa and Roxana then Amerin. Okay, you must check the third person form of the verb, okay? Because if you say, for example, um, uh, the first one was Maritza, if I don't remember. Maritza, Maritza and Roxana? No, you I said know. one person. Uh, I say Yes, yeah, so Lucia eats. Ah, okay, that's third person. Very good. Pero mm -hmm, cuando okay. this, uh, when you said about this, Michael, no, um, you said an, a name of a man and you say, um, go to the bank. Did you say that, right? Uh, right? Yes, go to the bank. Okay, then it's goes, goes go. ah, to the bank. Okay. Yes. And the other yes. one okay. was don't something something uh but it was only one person it's doesn't that doesn't, doesn't. uh-huh no i don't I get. she or he doesn't you don't we you don't, don't. yes doesn't. okay yes. thank you there you go mm -hmm. thank you norma oscar noe magaña martinez mr oscar are you in yet no all right Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, Patty makes the purchase order the spark parts. Um, Max and, and David do the daily ma maintenance. Um, maintenance. 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 Uh -huh. Maintenance. Sí. Okay. Uh, Marielos does mismas of the machines. Uh, does Mariela uh, does? Oh, makes, makes, makes the mismatch of the machine. The mismatch, all right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Makes is okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you very much, Pablo. Uh, Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Miss Sandra. Isn't she still joined? Isn't she joined yet? Okay. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltran. Present, Miss. Okay, Tatiana, uh -huh. tell us. Karen buys pro the products. And uh, I see send email every day. Mm -hmm. Pedro takes documents to clients. 
Uh, Mario brings the products to the customers. Very good. Good, good, good. Thank you, Tatiana. Uh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. No lo he terminado, teacher, Only, pero uh, uh, at least three. Do. Okay, two. No sé si two. será bien. <laughs> okay, you tell me. All right. Eh, you say Eric makes the report in the email. Okay, uh huh. Um, y Juan Ramón a clean a car. Okay, uh, Juan Ramón is the subject. Let's write it uh -huh. correctly. Juan Ramón. Cleans. Ajá, limpia. Ok, cleans. Cleans. The car. Cleans. Ajá. Cleans the car. Ahí se lo puse the en el car. chat. Ajá, Juan Ramón cleans the car. And ah. the first one was the report. Uh, who does the report? Yes. Uh, you do it? Yes. Do you, ok, then I, uh, I write the reports. Ok. Mm -hmm. I write the reports. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's remember that we have to write a subject, a verb, and a complement. ¿Cuál okay. es el orden de una oración afirmativa? A ver todos. Sujeto. Mm -hmm. Sujeto. Verbo. Y verb. mm -hmm. Verbo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Complemento. Okay, and the, the simple present, we have to consider the conjugation of verbs. And when we conjugate the verb for the third person, we add letter S or ES, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. S, E, S. Or we change I, E, S. For example, study, we change the letter Y for a letter I. So we can add also I, E, S, okay. right? Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, I, teacher. Okay, there you go, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, so let's continue. Welcome everybody again to your video conference number 10. And remember that we are in our unit to review and practice. So we want to practice what we learned, but also we want to finish the topic this about schedules, okay? The topic about schedules. So let's go to our manuals. In our manuals. Okay. In our manuals. On page 26. On page 26. You have to write a five line paragraph about the tasks that your boss does in your workplace. Okay, let's talk about the manager. Let's talk about the boss. Let's talk about your supervisor. Okay, and then we are going to see. Um, we are going to compare. We are going to compare with our classmates what bosses is busiest. Okay, uh, who is mm, who has more activities to do during a day? Okay, so think about your boss right now. Are you the boss? Who is the boss here? Who is the boss in your workplace? The manager. Okay, the manager. Do the manager. I have bosses here? Are there um, any? Yes, and the, my, the, the department is uh, Mayra Villalta, is Joe, uh, is boss administration. Is correct. Okay. Administration books. All right. She is from administration. All right. But I'm asking if in this group, is there anyone who works as a manager? 
Do I have supervisors here? Is there any supervisor in this group? Yes. Okay. Uh, en este grupo tengo personas que trabajan como supervisores, como gerentes, como eh, jefes. Someone said me. Was he Dario? Yes. Okay, Dario is a boss, so he can write his own agenda. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. let's look at. Is there any other boss here? Is there anyone else who works as a boss? All right, Mauricio. Mauricio is a boss too. Okay. Do we have any supervisor in this group? Okay, Wendy is a supervisor. Uh huh. We have actually the quality control, it's a superior level, right? Yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, people. So now we are going to think about our bosses and let's write at least five sentences saying their activities and when do they do that? So we are going to answer the question. Aquí la voy a poner en el chat. What's your boss? schedule like, okay? Eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahora. What's your boss schedule like? What's your boss schedule like? Y van a ver que hay un montón de letras S por ahí, pero solo vamos a hacer como así, boss schedule, okay? Boss schedule. Tell me, Wendy. Teacher, me da permiso cinco minutos, por favor. Okay. Mi acaba de tener un accidente. All right, go ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay, people. So, what's your boss's? I'm sorry. What's your boss's schedule like? Everybody thinking about five sentences. And in our manuals, we have on page twenty six the activity six. And there you have the five lines to write them, okay? Here. Teacher. Hmm? Excuse me. Um, what the pay? 26. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. Daisy, how many sentences do you have now? Tatiana? Hi, teacher. How many sentences do you have now? Um, About your bus schedule. From your bus. Hmm? Uh, what does your boss do and when does he do it or she? Uh, is she, she, I don't know, teacher. You have to write five sentences saying, what does your boss do? And you have to answer, what's your boss's schedule like? Usted tiene que describir el, las actividades que hace su jefe y a qué horas las hace. Okay. Mm, okay. Five uh, sentences. Five sentences. Okay. Okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. My my boss 
o, o de es que vamos a ver. my post schedule ¿Ah? is eh, send the email Ok, Ma, uh, entonces armémosla así, mire. My boss sends emails. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. My boss sends emails. What time does she do it? At uh, 7 Okay, I have English. There you go. Mm -hmm. Like this, right? Okay, usted va a hacer cinco oraciones similares de diferentes actividades que hace su jefa y a qué horas las hace. Okay, what time does she do these activities? Okay, thank you. Okay, Tatiana, there you go. Okay, is everybody ready? How's it going? Gracias, teacher. Okay. Okay, Una pregunta, wait. teacher, y en mi Tell caso me. que yo no veo a, a, mi, a mi jefa, <laughs> ah, y yo solo paso fuera. <laughs> okay, but she called you, she calls you, or, or she organizes the schedules, I don't know, she, she has some uh, uh, tasks that okay. she has to do, right? Okay, mm -hmm. okay. there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, I need you to have the five sentences because we are going to the breakout room to compare with our classmate. And we're going to say, whose bus is the busiest? Okay, vamos a ir a ver cuál de todos los jefes de nosotros es el más ocupado. Okay, we are going to compare. Who's the nicest, right? Uh -huh who works hard and the manager that doesn't work too hard, <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. The one who likes to work in team, yeah? So that's what we are going to go to compare. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, I can use... Uh, she writes report at a nine o'clock. Yes, and you can say, for example, mm, si lo hace siempre, she always okay. Okay. writes reports at nine a.m. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are sentences, what we are doing. Remember that to make this as a paragraph, we need to use connectors or commas or punctuation, all right? So we need to a make the paragraph later. Right now we are just writing the sentences, okay? Sentences. How's it going? Um, someone out here. Jose Bernardo? Uh, I have five teacher. All right, good, good. That's okay. Now, what about Jose Gerardo? How many do you have? How many sentences do you have? I have uh, four sentences. Four sentences. Okay, complete. The, the fifth one. All right. There you go. Hmm. Okay, people. We are going to the breakup rooms with the sentences you have. And we are going to compare with our classmates but we want to use our language. We want to use our vocabulary. No Spanish in the breakout room, okay? No Spanish in the breakout room. So you are going to say, for example, my boss 
eats with the co-workers, okay? Every day. My, war, my boss doesn't have weekends off, all right? So these things, you have to use your language, use your vocabulary, okay? No Spanish, no Spanish. But if you need help, ask your classmate, all right? And then when we come back, we are going to say, what boss is the busiest? ¿Cuál de los dos jefes es el más ocupado? Which one of those has more things to do? What buzz doesn't do something? What buzz does something? All right. We are comparing. Vamos a ir a comparar un jefe con el otro. Okay. Vamos a ver. Questions? No questions? Do we understand what we are going to do? Okay. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a ir a hacer al breakout room? No queremos perder el objetivo. Vamos a ver. Speak activities for hours uh, bus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comparing, comparing. Vamos a compararlos. El jefe de Nelly lo vamos a comparar con quien ella toque, ¿verdad? Okay. There you go. En donde nos quede algún grupo de tres, pues comparan a los tres jefes, ¿ok? Good evening. Hi, Vladimir. Hi, teacher. Right now we are going to the breakout rooms, okay? Me conecté, pero no, no entré quizá. I don't think so. You are in the main room right now. Uh, allow me to see where you are uh, joined. I mean, assigned. There you go. Mm -hmm.
my company all people, every people so busy um, my company uh, we have too much work every day and how many uh, co-workers are in your office Mm, how many? Mm -hmm. Every um, the a a from a to Sunday and fire club. Sunday, maybe seven o'clock. Hello, Emerson. Hi, Melda. Are, are you alone? Yeah, you know, uh, is working. Oh, okay. Then I will assign you to another one. All right. Just give me one okay. second. Okay. Yes, uh -huh. yes, 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 solo íbamos a comparar o íbamos a escribir las, las tareas del jefe de, de los compañeros? No, you have to compare. Talking, oh, okay. speaking. Mm -hmm. okay. My boss does this. No, my boss doesn't. Mm, my boss is nicest, right? <laughs> okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Compare your bosses. What do they do? If my boss do, I mean, if my boss does something different than the other boss. Okay. Okay. What does your boss do, Nelly? Uh, my workplace, my workplace manager comes into the office two or three times a week from eight to eleven thirty a.m. Issues with items to push us to push us for the office, and he gives the indication of the activities to be done on the job. The manager has contact with other national and international institutions and travels a lot. He meets with the board at least once a month. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Emerson, does your boss travel a lot as Nelly's boss? Uh, my boss is uh, very busy. <laughs> oh, he's busy. All right. But does he travel a lot? 
Um, for example, he visit the suppliers one time for months for training oh. up. Okay, once a month. Once a month. Mm -hmm. And he organized to, to a different trip. country. Yeah. Um, yes. All right. Good. He traveled to Guatemala, Honduras, mm -hmm. Mexico, in other countries. Okay. What about yours, Wendy? Who said my boss sent email what night I am? I am. I am. <laughs> um, my supervisor helps to see the country of Central Central. Central America, and also see staff in supermarkets. Uh, has daily meeting with the McCormick, Frances, and um, the chef. Okay, Frances. La mayonesa es mayonesa, no, mayonesa del chef. Así okay. la marca. Mm -hmm. El chef Menes. Uh -huh. okay. El chef Menes. Uh -huh. uh -huh. A brand to be... Ah. Del chef, right? Del, Del chef. Sí. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, branch to be able to coordinate the event in the different points. Okay. So your bus also travels, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. He travels. Yes. Uh, is it she or is it he? I, I couldn't get it. He or she? In the, in the different. Are, uh, you have two buses? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. You yes, have. Uh, mm -hmm. um, and the company, um, uh, come she said, sure. And I have. And different, uh, myself, different jefes. Okay. Different uh, buses. I different, have two uh, different buses. Different buses. Um, que ven diferente las, o sea, ven diferente las marcas, sí. Ah, okay. So o sea, son, they... cada marca tiene su um, A un manager. Exacto. Okay. Exacto. Uh -huh. Okay. It will, I mean, uh -huh. your job seems kind of difficult because you have to to treat with the, a lot of bosses, right? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. So sí. it's kind of stressful working with a lot of people. Yeah. But. Yeah. Do you like your work? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yay, great. Yeah. So you know how Almost. to manage people. You know how to manage people. Good, good, good. Almost and guys, a... I did the monopoly yes. here of the conversation. Hey, come on, everybody, please. Okay. Give opinions, mm -hmm. give opinions with okay. Wendy. It's very interesting, her job, right? Then Nelly, what do you think about? Yeah, this is very interesting. Uh -huh. Where do you work, Wendy? Uh huh. Um, yes. Where? Coral, where? Coral. Where? What company do you work for? The um, the company name. Company. Your company name. Um. Que where? Tengo que en empresa. No, no. Where do you work? Donde trabaja? Where do you work? Ah, uh, in McCormick, the Central America. Mm -hmm of the Central America. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Okay, people, then continue. I'm going to another group. Continue talking. All right, there you go.
Okay, everybody, how was the activity? How was the activity? Okay, we are going to ask uh, group number one, Claudia, Norma, and Sandra. Tell us, share with the class, uh, what did you find out? I'm, I'm sorry, what did you find out about your bosses? For example, Claudia can tell us about, um, a, I'm sorry, tell us about Norma's boss, and comparing with yours, okay? So what did you conclude? Uh, okay. Norma's bosses is the most uh, occupied okay. person because uh, he has in charge over 20 people. Okay, he is, in, he is in charge of. He is in charge. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. So he has more activities and, <laughs> and have many branches in the country. Okay, so uh, he or she, the boss, he or she? He. Okay, he is as a general manager or re regional manager, right? Something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Okay, let's talk about room three. Eduardo, Karen, and Pablo. Share with the class your conclusions. Uh, my conclusion uh, uh, Eduardo Bos, uh, he is world, uh, he has a, a lot of field work and he works in. Uh, of the government. Oh, all right. And maybe in this government, they work 24 seven, right? That's the rule. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So Eduardo's bus is the busiest. Okay. So continue with room four. Uh, no, room. Room five, room six, Jose Bernardo and Tatiana. Hi, teacher. Hi. We conclude, we conclude that my boss has more occupation. More tasks. Okay. Mm -hmm. More tasks. Yes. Uh -huh. My boss is administrative accountant. 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 Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what about Jose Bernardo's boss? Uh, my boss is not so busy like the Tatiana's boss. Because and he has, he, my boss has more personnel that helps with his job. Oh, more assistants. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right. And it is not administrative, it's operational, I think, right? No, it's it's administrative, it's the uh, gerente de calidad. Okay, quality manager. Quality mm -hmm. manager, but he has two supervisors. So oh, he can okay. give them more part of his work. Okay, he delegates. He delegates. he delegates. All right. Nice. So Tatiana's boss is the busiest. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Let's look at the next group is, uh -huh. M, uh, pardon, I'm sorry. Jose Gerardo, Darío, and Irma. Tell us. Um, Jose Gerardo is uh, listening to oh, me. Okay. As a listener, yes, you're right. Uh, yeah, we conclude uh, booths are busy every day, the same. Both. See, both. Both. Uh -huh. both. Okay. Uh, very busy. Um, the Irma's boss is more administrative. Uh -huh. My boss is more operative. Operational. Oh, okay, operational. Uh 
Uh -huh. uh, oh, you said operative? Okay. Mm -hmm. Operative, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. He, um, uh, pasa. Spends. Pasa, uh, spends, spends more time in, in field. And the field, uh-huh. Um, okay. Supervise, supervise projects. All oh, right, out there, right? Okay, yeah. so his from one place to another is more mobile, mobile, yeah, mobile. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so both are as BC as the other one, right? Yeah. One yeah. is as BC as the other one. All right, Yeah. good. Mm -hmm. All right, people. So now let's look at the group. Emerson, Nelly, and Wendy. Hello, Miss. Aha, tell us. The institutions are, they have an interesting job because they interact with the many people. Um, it's a difficult job for for her okay. because have two bosses and the difficult of the actions is really. <laughs> All right. So uh when this boss, right? When, when this boss, yeah. Okay, the, the her job is the busiest, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Her job is the busiest, all right? Even though you have a lot of things to do and your job like Nelly and you have to do, but you don't treat with two or three or more brand managers because she has to manage a lot of brands. It's not only one. McCormick is uh, a big company. They have different brands. That's what she said, right? All right, good, good. What do you think, Nelly? My conclusion is Emerson and I have only one manager in each of our jobs and they travel to different countries for business. Okay. And Wendy has different managers for each run in her job. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Nelly. So now let's look at... The last one is Imelda, Mauricio, and Vladimir. Okay, tell us, guys. Good evening. In my case, my boss is general manager at Hotel Crown Plaza, San Salvador. Uh, I consider is very busier. Busy. Because, uh, busy, okay. Because... Uh, he attend 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 every attend meeting uh, at na at nine a.m. eleven and four p.m. Uh, okay. from on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. After that, uh, in the Tuesday, they had a, how do you say, video, video, video conferences, conference. mm -hmm. video conference, yes, I okay. consider it is very, he's very busy, busy. okay, okay. Yes. okay, what do you think, Mauricio? Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, for me, difficult for for me, difficult uh, to reach the conclusion. Okay. Because Tell me I why. don't, I don't know much about his position. Oh, uh, okay. As the boss. Uh, but, okay. But I think, okay, my, him, my boss is very busy. PC. Okay, he For has a me. lot of responsibilities. Okay, con el perdón de <laughs> Okay, so you disagree, all right? Very good, okay. that's okay. a debate. That's a debate, okay. and yes, 
because maybe my boss has a different field of action, a different expertise, so they can be busy in their own expertise, right? And maybe some tasks are more difficult than the other tasks or the other tasks as, I mean, are uh, equals, right? Yeah. The same, the same of difficulty. All right. So thank you very much everybody for participating in this, in this activity. And now we want to go to the, um, to the manual and the manual, we have a schedule. Do you see the schedule on page 27? The schedule on page 27. Look, it's the whole page describing the schedule of a manager. In this case, we are talking about the restaurant manager we were studying yesterday. Remember Jennifer? Remember Jennifer as the manager? in the schedule yeah, so manager. let's look uh -huh. let's look at her schedule or a uh, similar manager in mm -hmm. any restaurant okay so let's go and check it out let's check this out and you tell me okay you tell me you are going to read them okay you are going to read them all of them i want you to read them aloud okay Doesn't allow me to do this. Here it is. Okay, so we've got it over here. This is the schedule. This is the schedule. Can you imagine? From 9.30 a.m. to 10.30, if I'm not wrong. No, to 10.10, to 10.10. Okay, what kind of schedule do you think she has? What kind of schedule do you think she has? If it is a she, right? This manager has. How many hours does she work? How many hours that, does she work? Maybe 12. 12? Well, if it is from yeah. nine, to 10, imagine from nine to nine, it's 12, right? 12, 12 uh -huh. Yeah. But to 10, to 10 is one more hour, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. To 10 is one more hour. So let's look at her job, okay? Her tasks. So let's say uh, the first one, who wants to read, please? Everybody, let's see. We are going to read two by two. So Mauricio, then Nelly, then Vladimir, then Norma. Two, okay? And then Tatiana, okay? There you okay. go. Okay. Two. 9.30 a.m. Open the back kitchen door so kitchen staff can start working. Mauricio, next one. Ah, the 9.40 a.m. work around kitchen, checks temperature in all cooler and the freezer. Thank you. Nelly? Your microphone is off. Me? <laughs> 9.50 a.m. Create a schedule for service and, and boosters with chores that need to be done in their ship individually. All right. 10 a.m. Service starts to clock in. Thank you. Let me. Uh, uh, thank you, Nelly. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, 10 past 10 a.m. Turn on all the lights and sound systems. Thank you, Nelly. Now, Vladimir. Hi, teacher. Please read. 10.30 a.m. 
tan seria ya. Mm -hmm. Then, then it's okay. Mm. Everyone clocks, <coughs> clocks out and hide. Uh, I, 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 I am driving, teacher. Ya me oh. voy a parquear. Okay, no, no problem. No problem, Vladimir. It's okay. It's okay. Continue your way and eyes on the road. Okay? There you go. And Norma, please. Okay. 10 30 a.m. Everyone clothes out and have a quick lunch along with employees. And we talk about what they. Um, schedule shorts for the day. Right. And the next one. Mm -hmm. Yes, Norma, please continue. Ten, okay, 10, 10 15 a.m. Everyone close back. Everyone close back in and start working again. All right. Here is 10 50. 10 50. Okay, Norma? 10, 50, 10, not 15. 15. 15. Uh -huh. 10, 50. 50, yes. All right. Continue, 50. please. Okay. Um, okay, continue, please. Um, Jose Gerardo. Uh, okay. Uh, 10.55 a.m. Open the front door and turn off the, on the open sign. All right. Next one, Jose Gerardo. At 11 a.m. Go to the kitchen and check temperatures of ready to eat foods and get samples to taste. All right. And next one, please, Wendy. Eleven a.m. two p.m. a uh, request a uh, room reg register maybe room a uh, some food. Permit me to miro some food. Some food um help I sever that get baking. That gets behind. Be that gets behind. I uh, get behind. Uh -huh, here, that gets behind. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue, please, Emerson. I will move it. Okay. Yeah. 2 p.m. Clock out and go home. A city manager stay in charge. Very good. Thank you. Next one, Emerson. 4 p.m. Clock clogging. Break is over. All right. Now let's continue, please. Uh, Tatiana. 4 5 p.m. Check food temperature again, as well as cooler and freezer temps for a uh, PM. Make schedules for second shir shift. 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 Uh, Several and um, Kitchen head cook handlers his them his team team his equipo, team. team all right team. Mm -hmm. okay continue please I'm uh, ready teacher okay Vladimir go ahead thank you uh, what I'm sorry second chief staff start uh, two o'clock in five and nine PM, great guest, talk to people, et cetera, et cetera. Don't have to run the register in the evenings. Have a part-time cashier in the clock from five 
night. Uh, that way I focus on more important things. All right, thank you. Uh, but look, here, Vladimir, we're going to read it like from 5 to 9, from 5 to 9 p.m., all right? There you go. Okay, de acuerdo. Uh-huh. Okay, continue, please, Miss Karen. 9.30 p.m., we start to do side work. I supervise everything gets done right. Okay. Next one, Karen. 10 p.m., turn the open thing off and look the front door. Okay, finish this one, Karen. 10, 10 p.m., enter credit card tips into the CC processors. All right, there you go. So now, guys, we have to answer if it is correct or if it is not correct, and what time does these activities, okay? So let's look at the first one. It says, check temperature at the kitchen. Does he, do, I'm, I'm sorry, does he, does this manager uh, do this activity? Yes, right? What time does she do it? 9.30 a.m. 9.30? We were talking about the temperature, remember? Yeah. Check temperature at the kitchen. What time nine, does she nine, do that? 9.40 9.40? You sure? A.m. Okay. Yes. Here oh, yes. it says nine check point. temperatures in all colors and freezers. Okay. But let's look at this one. It says temperature at the kitchen, yes. And also temperature of the food, right? So yeah, 940 is okay. So you write 940. No voy a escribirlo ahorita porque si no tengo que estar subiendo y bajando, entonces va a estar moviéndose, okay? Ah, no, this is a different program. I remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, let's look at this. I'm going to add the text. It's not going to move, yay. So here it is. 9.40, right? 9.40 a.m. Okay, what about number two? Turn on the lights and sound system. Ten what time does she do that? 10 to 10 a.m. 10 to 10 or 10, 10? 10, 10 a.m. Okay, yes, because 10 to 10 is 9.50. Okay, yeah. yeah, all right. So 10... Ah, and Nelly said one uh, different way, a very formal way, 10 past 10, right? Mm -hmm. And there you go. Mm -hmm. What time does she make the schedule okay. for the second shift? 40, 10 p.m. 4, 10 p.m. The schedule? Yeah, for mm -hmm. 10 p.m. Yes, make schedule for the second shift, right? Servers and buzzers. The buzzers are those that we were talking yesterday about that they uh, are the order takers, right? Okay, uh, for 10, right? For 10. Uh, what about number four, guys? What time does she open the back kitchen door? 9.30 a.m. 9.30. The back kitchen? Yes. It's the first thing she does, right? So yes, 9.30 a.m. Okay, do inside work. Uh, here we have the side work, but that the side work is like um, extra work or the work that you can help with. 
but I think it refers to that one, right? Yes, it is that one, the one at five, right? The inside work is to greet the people and all those things, right? Supervise everything gets done right. All right, that time. It will be 9.30 p.m., right? 9.30 uh, p.m., right? Okay, and what about number six? Turn on the open time. 10 p.m. The open time? Uh, 10 p.m. P.m. at night? 10.55 a.m. Yeah, turn it on. It's in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. down, 10. Down. Um. Uh -huh, because at 10 p.m. she turns the open sign off, okay? Sign off. So in the morning, uh -huh. yeah. AM, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Does it say right there? Open the... No, here, it has to be here. Uh, I don't remember, guys. I don't remember. Help me, help me to remember. Uh, open uh, oh. open the front door. Here. No, no, here. Uh-huh. 1055. 1055. Yes, yes, yes. I remember it something vague. 55. There you go. All right, so we know the time. Uh, the question is what time does he or she end the action, right? And in that case, we don't add letter S because we are asking for the action using does in the question as an auxiliary, right? Okay, here we've got some extra practice. This is an extra practice. So uh, here I am going to turn my microphone off and you as a whole group are going to feel these and you are going to complete each sentence. Remember that you have to be careful with the verb agreement and also the negative forms, okay? If it takes an as or if it, uh, takes the plural form or if it takes the base form, okay? So here we go. Yo me pongo en silencio y todos agarran su... Ah, eh, Jose Bernardo, are you over there? Jose Bernardo? Yes, teacher. Okay, could you please help me uh, writing over here? Taking note from your classmates? Ok, José Bernardo va a tomar nota. Ustedes le van a ir diciendo, pero cuando lo lean, lean lo completo, ¿verdad? No solo work, works. No, ¿verdad? Vamos a decirlo completa la oración. Ok, there you go. So, I will mute myself. Yes, works from the 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Work with plus as is yeah mm -hmm. it's correct so jen and peer clean the tables every day um. mark deja mi amor mm -hmm. mark no take other on Wednesday. That's him. Thank you. Thank you. 
Number Mark three. Nor not takes orders on Wednesday. Marks doesn't take order on Wednesday. Doesn't. We have class on Sunday. We have class on Sunday. No. It doesn't take. No. With us, no. No, with we us, know. take. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. They expect to have more clients this week. In the search sentence, doesn't take. No, is. Doesn't take. Because. Mm -hmm. Tiene el auxiliar. Correcto. Is, is Mark, Mark doesn't take. Doesn't take. Sin ese. Yeah, correcto. No es con ese. Es con no ese. Es con creo. ese. No, no, porque es negativo. Lleva el auxiliar. Cuando está negativo, ah, se le quita la S, aunque sea la tercera persona. Pero porque lleva un auxiliar. Porque son oraciones simples. Mm -mm -mm. Or opens. Opens no lleva la S. S. Es open. Es open. open. Sin S. Sin S. Sin esa porque no es tercera persona. Así es. Pero es un... Están hablando de él. Es un... Nuestro. Es... Nuestro. Nuestro jefe es Pen. Creo que... Sería ¿Cuántos sí, restaurantes están hablando de él? How many restaurants are they talking about? Only one, one right? One, one. So yes, it takes letter S because it's it. Our mm -hmm. restaurant is it. So yes, it takes letter S. Mm -hmm. It opens. Opens, yes. Mm -hmm. Opens. Yes, this one is opens. What about this one? Our boss, pens. Pen. She or he, right? She or he, that's correct. Yeah. We don't close on Sundays. Yes, correct. Because we are talking about we, including myself, right? Including I, we. They expect. There you go. Doesn't take clean because they are two people, plural. And Jeff is only one person, so it's very good works okay now guys we are going to continue with the extra practice oh this is what i was talking about uh, okay i don't know how to erase this uh maybe like this there you go. oops nope tips oh thank you <laughs> thank you thank you Es que mi borrador era de lapicero. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, continue, continue. Here we've got right sentences using the words in parentheses. So I'm going to do the same thing. I will mute myself and you start uh, writing. Okay. Jose Bernardo and Nelly, you are doing a very good job. Teamwork. There you go.
Mm -hmm. I can hear guys. Sad don't change many. The restaurant rarely hire new employees. Everybody participating, guys. The restaurant rarely hire new employees. Maybe. Sometimes closer. The, the restaurant some, sometimes close early. Early. Ellas se quedaron todos callados. A ver, quiero <laughs> oírlos. Quiero oírlos ahí debatiendo. Debating. Everybody debate. Invéntense las oraciones con esas palabras. Hardly ever give away promotion item. The restaurant hardly ever give, give, give away, away promotion item. Mm, Restaurant never close on Mondays. The restaurant never. The restaurant never close on Mondays. On Mondays.
Okay, and you did a very good job also, Nelly. Thank you. You added letter S. That's what I was going up um, to object Iron. because you you wrote change first and then higher and then close, right? And remember that when we are talking about our restaurant or the restaurant is eat, so we have to add letter S to the verb. Mm -hmm. Hardly ever gives away. Very good. The restaurant never closes on Mondays. All right. So with this, uh, we are finishing the written material on the manual. I just want to take you to these questions. We need to learn how to answer these questions. Okay. We need to learn how to answer these questions because we want to learn how to talk about our schedules. It's not only about people, it's about time too. So let's look at these slides. And the question is, what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? This is some vocabulary that's gonna be useful for you. And when we talk about schedules, remember what are the elements we need? Activities, time, and question. the person, right? The person in charge. Okay, but let's look at these vocabulary as referring to the kind of schedule you are going to describe, for example. What's your schedule like? It's a full-time schedule. It's a part-time schedule. It's a fixed schedule. It's a flexible schedule. It's a rotating shift. It's a split shift. On-call schedules. Seasonal schedules. So the, uh, it's kind of easy if we associate the meaning of this one, right? What do you think is the full-time schedule? What is the full-time schedule? What schedule do you have? What's your schedule like? Full-time in El Salvador, it's 44 hours, right? Full-time is 44 hours a week. Part-time? as the middle, right? 22 or 24, right? Uh, uh -huh. Hours a week. Mm -hmm. Tell me. I have full-time schedule, but I will like um, a flexible schedule. A flexible one, all right. Um, is there a special reason for that? Yes, because um, I like to many things i like to do uh-huh okay I like mm -hmm. to do many things some other activities extra activities yes, mm -hmm. yes. okay mm -hmm. fixed schedules means that doesn't change it's that schedule only because they don't have any other business hours they don't need people working in different hours so they have fixed schedules they can change what about the flexible schedules? These are those schedules where you can decide uh, what time you are available to work, right? What about the rotating shift? This week you are in one schedule and it changes in the next week, right? Maybe in this week you work for four days or for four weekdays and you have to work on the weekends. And then you change your, they change your shift. That's because of the needing, I mean, uh, what the company needs, right? So what about the on-call schedules? On-call schedules. What profession do you think it's, Mm, very common that they are on uncalled schedules. Vigilante. Yes, security. Mm -hmm. Security. Security. Doctors. 
Doctors. Nurse. Police officers. Nurse. Nurses. Mm -hmm. Yes, they have these kind of schedules, on-call schedules. Maybe they stay at home. Uh, Claudia Maria said that she had an on-call schedule to during weekends, right? So there are other like seasonal schedules, seasonal for Christmas, uh, the summer, right? It's only for the summer or maybe in some countries they have these change of schedule because of the sunlight schedule, right? So they change uh, one hour forward or one hour backward, right? So that's a seasonal schedule too. They have different others like um, festivities, holidays. Those are seasonal schedules too. Okay, so what's your schedule like? What's your schedule like? My schedule is really flexible. I decide which one is convenient for me. What about yours? My schedule full time. Full time schedule. Okay. How many hours a day do you work? How many hours a day do you work? I have a um eight, eight uh, hours. Eight hours. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the time frame? Eight hours. Okay. What time do you start working? I uh, start at 7.30 a.m. Okay, very good. And what time do you finish work? I finish work at uh, 5 p.m. Okay, at 5 p.m. So yes, it's eight hours. And what do you think about the schedule for lunch, guys? What's worthy? Uh, do you have one hour for lunch, two hours for lunch, three hours for lunch, or you don't have a schedule for lunch? I have one hour. One hour? One hour? One hour. One. Yes. yes. Okay. Is there anyone here who has two hours for lunch? No. Hmm. There isn't lucky people here. <laughs> okay. There Maybe is, 45. No. Okay. Oh, 45 minutes? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. 45 minutes, you have the, the <laughs> solo right here. Look like this. Okay. Still drinking something. Okay, guys. Now, let's look at some sentences that we can use when we talk about our schedule, okay? When we talk about our schedule, we can use these kind of sentences. I have a full-time job. I have a part-time job, okay? I don't know who is it. Thank you. I can't disactivate this audio. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. No, no, no. I can't see it. All right. Now it Customer did. Say. Okay. So I work eight hours a day. I work eight hours a day. I work five hours a day. I work four hours a day. Two hours on Sundays. Three hours on Fridays. Okay. So we can save the number of hours, okay? Customer service business hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So those business hours, horas hábiles, business hours, business hours. Customer service business hours are from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So what are the business hours in your company? 
what are the business hours in your company? Mm -hmm. Business hours usually is, usually is from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., usually, okay? It could be from 7 to 3 for the government, uh, government institutions. Uh, they have also La Jornada Unica, right? Uh, it doesn't exist anymore, I think. I, I really don't know. I'm not well informed about it. But it was from 7 a.m. to 1 p.m., remember? Uh, yes, there is one institution that, that has that schedule, ISRI. ISRI has that schedule from 7 a.m. to or from 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. And what about this? Is, aquí falta is. This is a company that offers a 24 7 service, a 24 7 service. This is all the time, all the time. It's open all the time. I would like to have a part time job schedule. I'm available to work in the evening shift. I'm available. This is an expression to say that you are able to work from that time to another time, right? Uh, I'm available to work well, in the evening you. shift. That's why this person wants a part time job. I don't like fixed schedules. I don't like fixed schedules. Do you? Do you like fixed schedule? Do you like no. fixed schedules? Mm. No? Rotating shifts? What kind of, of um, schedule do you like? Fixed, flexible, or rotating? Split I, I, shifts? I, I like fancy schedule. Fixed, fixed. Fixed, uh -huh. fixed schedule. Fixed, fixed significa fijo, okay? Fijo, yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to get a flexible schedule job to study in the university. Okay, I need to get a flexible schedule mm -hmm. job to study in the university. Okay, so these are examples how to talk about our schedule. It's easy if you practice, okay? It's easy if you practice, guys. Thanks. 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 Mm -hmm. Y por ahí les posteé, ya son solo tres minutos, por ahí les posteé una actividad para el fin de semana, ¿ok? Ustedes se van a dar gusto viendo videos, ¿ok? Pero no ganamos viendo videos, ¿verdad? No ganamos dinero con las nuevas aplicaciones. <ríe> bueno, si lo miran en las nuevas aplicaciones, tal vez ganen dinero, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok, bueno. Eh, la idea es esta. You are going to go to the discussion forum and you will participate giving some... Um, uh, sentences, opinions, and also your perception describing the schedules in your company, okay? I sent one video through the WhatsApp group. Yo les envié un video por el grupo de WhatsApp de un policía. Did you watch that video? Very easy to understand, right? <laughs> Estaba fácil de entender. Yeah, uh -huh. okay, yeah. Very fast speaking. Yeah, very fast speaking. Okay. So please, good listening over there, okay? Darío, you are going to feel nice listening to that guy, okay? Darío, he Hi, speaks teacher. He speaks really fast, Darío. Um, this guy, this police officer. Yeah, Did yeah. You... I estuve tratando de, de entenderle, pero me... Uh huh. Did you feel challenged? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But look, you will have enough time to listen to this guy. But also, I sent another video. It's easier to understand because it's about a doctor, a part time job as a doctor. Okay. So uh, on the platform, go, go to the platform and you will see the activity posted under the video of the video conference number 10. Go right there and you will find it. It says, the topic is 
what's your schedule like? Okay. What's your schedule like? Mm -hmm. It's not this one. It's the other one. Ah, teníamos que haber visto también el midterm test. ¿Alguien tuvo alguna situación con el midterm test? ¿O todos ya lo subieron? Ya vamos a verificar. Ok. Aquí. Discussion. All topics. What's your schedule like? This is the activity. Look. You click on the link. Watch the video and model the language. Model the language. Just as she did, then you are going to explain your schedule and the kind of schedules that exist in your company. Okay? And you are going to write a paragraph about your schedule and explain about other kinds of schedules within your company. It means time frames days, days off, duties, tasks, feel free to write. No less than seven lines. It means not less, uh, no less than seven sentences, all right? Is there any question about this activity? Is there any question about that activity? Eso es para practicar listening. Yes, personal. Mm -hmm. It's personal. And you have your own mm, pace here, okay? A su propio ritmo ahí. A tu propio paso. Durante el fin de semana, okay? During Cuántos the minutos? weekend. <laughs> no worries, no worries. It's okay. You feel free to write. No, aquí en este caso la cantidad es de las no menos de siete oraciones. Ahí usted lo puede escuchar las veces que usted quiera, ¿ok? Hasta que lo comprenda el video. Y tiene los dos videos. Tiene el video que les mandé por el WhatsApp y este otro que les he relacionado acá. Que los dos están hablando de lo mismo, ¿verdad? De schedules. ¿Cómo describir nuestros schedules? Yes, full time, part time. ¿Cuántos días a la semana? How many days a week I work? How many hours a week I work? How many hours a day? And the tasks I have to do. For example, there are, I mean, mm, there aren't the same tasks during weekdays than on weekends, right? So uh, this is what you want to explain in your paragraph, okay? Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Bien. Entonces ahorita vamos a irnos ya, ya son las 10 con 3. Lo vamos a hacer rapidito. Yo les iba a pedir a la salida que cada uno dijera, I work full time. Okay, full time schedule. I work part time schedule. I work full time schedule. Okay, pero si ya es tarde, pero igual ustedes piensen. Okay, vaya, vamos a ver. Ahorita solo present, present, present. Bye. Vamos a ver entonces. Are you ready? Please remember you have to turn on your camera and say present when you hear your name. Vamos a ir rapidito. Ahora le toca a José Alexander. Alexander se quedaría usted. No es una que ya ya no. Se nos desconectó José Alexander, ¿verdad? Sí, este, alguien que quiera quedarse. Hay aire acondicionado, ventilador. ¿Alguien que quiera quedarse en vez de José Alexander el día de hoy? Me, teacher. Ok, Wendy. There you go. Ok, please, say present when you hear your name. Cla Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. 
Present. Cecilia Yasmin Mingibar Soto. Permítanme que yo recibí un mensaje. Need to check this out. No, no. Right. All right. Claudia María Guerrero Mejía. Present. Eh, Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Present, teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Miss Daisy, I know you were there, but I couldn't see you. I can't see you now. Daisy, Daisy. She's there. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Present, teacher. Good night. Okay, have a very good night, you too. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Good night. In, good night. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Present. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo, Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher, good night. Good night. José Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher, good night. Okay, okay, night. Uh, Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present teacher. All right, Karen. Luis Javier Castillo. Mr. Luis Javier, aren't you there? Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Is she still there? Yes, she is. Marina Yancy Sandoval Bonilla. Eh, Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Okay, Sandra, thank you. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Ok. Wendy Marcela Ramírez Guevara. Present, teacher. Ok. Uh, see you people on Monday. Have a very good weekend. Do your homework and you have to submit your midterm test tonight. Ok. Have a very good night. Good Take night. care. Bye bye. Good night, good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Karen. Okay, Wendy, here we are. How are you tonight? Good night, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? How Hi. are you? Yeah. Okay, great. How can I assist you? How can I help you? How can I help you? Uh-huh. Do you have questions? I see, teacher. <laughs> Tell me. Diga me. Tell me, teacher. Te voy a ser bien sincera, teacher. Tell me. Sí entiendo, o sea, no es que entienda todo el inglés porque me está costando. Pero más, lo que me está costando más es como hacer las oraciones en uh -huh. los tiempos. A uh -huh. veces en eso me, me confundo toda en eso. Uh -huh. Y he estado viendo los videos que usted estaba mandando, he estado estudiando lo que usted estaba mandando, pero eh, como el presente, pasado y todo eso, en eso sí me cuesta retener como una retentiva eso. Uh -huh. Ok, uh -huh. aprendas la estructura. Vale, la estructura es bien sencilla en el sentido de que así como se la aprende ahorita, es para todos los tiempos. Uh -huh. Lo que tiene que aprenderse después sería las formas de los verbos. Por ejemplo, vale, uh -huh. la estructura es que siempre usted va a poner un sujeto, un verbo y un complemento. ¿verdad? Esa es la base. Uh -huh. 
Y si es negativo, vamos a utilizar un auxiliar dependiendo del sujeto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ahora, mire, vamos a poner por acá el pizarrón. Vamos a ver. Entonces, tenemos así, mire. You are going to write a subject. Subject. Uh -huh. Subject plus verb plus complement. ¿Ok? Entonces, para saber el tiempo del verbo que yo voy a usar, depende de que si la acción ya pasó o si la acción está sucediendo en el presente o si va a suceder en el futuro, ¿verdad? Hasta este momento. Aquí en este, hasta este módulo solo hemos aprendido el presente simple, el pasado simple y hemos aprendido el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? En los módulos anteriores. Solo tres eh, formas eh, básicas, digamos, ¿verdad? Tres tiempos verbales básicos. Entonces, necesitamos aprendernos los verbos. En la lista de verbos, tenemos que aprender la primera forma, la segunda forma, la tercera forma. La primera forma es el presente simple, ¿verdad? Simple, present. Entonces, ahí, por ejemplo, sería, digamos, uno de los verbos que más usamos, work. work. ¿verdad? Luego tenemos... Que en el presente simple, si es tercera persona, si es he, si es she, si es it, le vamos a agregar una letra S, ¿verdad? Entonces le vamos a poner acá para she o he, ya no sería solo work, sería works, ¿verdad? Ahí lleva S. Sí, aquí uh -huh. sería así. Vale, pero en este, en el presente simple, para I, you, we y they, la forma es la base, la forma base, que sería la forma uno, ¿verdad? De uh -huh. la lista de verbos, la primera columna. Entonces, I, you, we, they work. Ahora, vamos a ver entonces el pasado simple, simple past. Ahí dijimos que existen regulares y existen irregulares. Uh -huh. Ahí sí no hay fórmula mágica, Wendy. Ahí tiene que aprendérselo de memoria de la manera más fácil. Mire, Wendy, usted en las acciones que usted hace diariamente, piense, por ejemplo, si usted cocina, usted piense el verbo cook, ¿verdad? El okay. verbo cocinar. Si yo camino, pienso el verbo walk, ¿verdad? Y así, las cosas que yo voy haciendo para que se me vayan memorizando. ¿verdad? Y después, las cosas que casi no hago para ir extendiendo el vocabulario. Pero por uh -huh. el momento, estamos viendo el verbo work. En el pasado, no necesitamos cambiarle la forma. En todos los pronombres es igual, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos, I worked, you worked, we worked, they worked. She worked, he worked. O sea, es la misma forma, ¿verdad? Y el pasado participio. Past participle. El pasado participio que es el presente perfecto. Pero mire, en realidad no necesita mucho aprenderse así de memoria. Así la forma gramatical, el nombre gramatical, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Lo que usted tiene que aprender es el uso de, estos, de esta forma, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh -huh. Aprendimos que en él, le voy a poner acá, present perfect. En el present perfect usamos el auxiliar have y el pasado participio. ¿verdad? Entonces esos son los tres tiempos que hemos visto. Uh -huh. Hemos visto, aquí utilizamos el auxiliar don't para los negativos y doesn't. ¿Verdad? Va, ahorita solo lo estamos poniendo en resumen. Ya lo vamos a poner como funciona, ¿ok? Acá el auxiliar es did y didn't. ¿Verdad? 
Entonces, como aquí es don't, doesn't, es do, does. Aquí lo vamos a poner todavía más largo. Do and does. Ajá. Bueno, ahí vamos bien. Do, does. Vale. Aquí, did, didn't. En esta, vamos a utilizar have not. Have not. Y para la tercera persona, sí cambia. Porque el verbo es irregular. Entonces, es has. ¿Verdad? She has. O he has. ¿Ok? Vale. Hasta ahí. Digamos, serían los tiempos verbales. Ahora veamos los que hemos visto ahorita, que es lo más importante, que usted sepa que para cuando usted quiera hablar de las tareas rutinarias, las tareas de todos los días que usted hace en el trabajo, esas se llaman everyday tasks. Mire. O se llama routine. ¿Ok? O también se llama daily schedule, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Cualquiera de estas tres cosas que querramos hablar, o sea, es decir, hablar de lo que hacemos cada día, ¿verdad? ¿Qué vamos a poner? Son tres cosas que se parecen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Daily schedule. Daily routine, daily schedule. Vamos a ponerle daily también aquí. Daily routine. Uh -huh. Everyday tasks, daily routine y daily schedule prácticamente es la misma respuesta que usted va a dar. Si a usted le preguntan, what's your daily routine? Usted va a decir, I get up at 5 a.m. I don't eat breakfast in my house. I eat breakfast in my office. ¿Ok? Es el tiempo presente simple, que es este primero que vimos acá. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces podemos empezar y decir, por ejemplo, Wendy que sería tercera persona, ¿verdad? Works. Wendy works, works. at McCormick. ¿Verdad? Okay. Wendy works at McCormick. Y vemos que aquí tenemos sujeto, sujeto. mire, Wendy. Sí. Verb, verb. Complement, complement. Uh -huh. Mira. Entonces, armar la oración es siempre pensar quién hace la cosa, qué cosa hace y cómo hace la cosa, ¿verdad? Está bien dicho. Ajá. Entonces, por ejemplo, podríamos decir, si usted habla en primera persona, que habla yo, ¿verdad? Yo. Dice, uh -huh. I work. Aquí ya no le agrega ese porque aquí estamos hablando de I, mire, I Eso work. ¿Mm? At my for me. Okay. Um, por ejemplo, una negativa. I don't work. Um, podríamos ponerle at the store. En la tienda, ¿verdad? Tienda. Uh -huh. I work at the supermarket. Not at the store, at the supermarket. Okay. okay. So I don't work at the store. Y si yo cuento la historia, entonces voy a decir Wendy doesn't work mm -hmm. at the store. Ah, sí. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero el verbo, el verbo siempre incluye la parte negativa. Ah, está bien. O sea que el verbo en este caso es don't work. Don't work. Y en este caso es doesn't work. O sea que si es negativo, tiene que poner el auxiliar. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Va al principio, Ticha. Antes del verbo. Uh -huh. sí. Antes del verbo. Uh -huh. Sí. Cuando en inglés, en, es que en, uh, en español también decimos, yo no trabajo. Pero nos uh -huh. sale más fácil porque no tenemos un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Exacto. En español. Pero aquí sí tenemos que poner el auxiliar. Do Exacto. para los plurales para, y para I. Y uh -huh. el das para he, she o it. Ajá. Uh -huh. Este es el que hemos visto hasta este momento, ¿verdad? Y el pasado simple que usa el did, pero el did, por ejemplo, solo vamos a ponerlo de ejemplo para que lo tenga ahí en sus notas. I worked. A ver, ¿dónde trabajó usted antes? En comercial. Ok, I worked at 
comerzal. No sé cómo se escribe, pero más o menos así. Sí, te en, una M, Tich. Ah, ok. Va, ah, entonces así. Comerzal. Así. Entonces, yo le puedo poner, I, si fuera que no trabajo ahí, I didn't, I didn't. work at comerzal. Ah, ya cambia. ¿Eh? Cambia, pero siempre ah. sería, mire, es el mismo, pero en pasado, mire. Ah, está bien. Uh -huh. Igual si yo hablo de usted, ¿verdad? yo voy a ir con el chambre que usted no trabajó ahí, entonces voy a decir, sí, que sería Wendy, didn't work at comerciar. Aquí lo que tiene que fijarse es que aquí ya no va a poner Edemir y aquí ya no va a poner S porque ya hay auxiliares, mir Cuando hay auxiliares ya no conjuga, se queda en la forma base siempre. Voy. Uh -huh. Bien, ¿Vamos bien por ahí, Wendy? Sí, teacher. Bye. A ver, hágame una oración usted. Vamos a ver oh, con wow. el verbo. Bueno, una que usted ahorita se lo puso. I. I. Cooking. I cook. I cook. Ajá. I cook um, in the night. At night. At night. At, at Very night. Good. Sí. Very good. Uh -huh. I at cook night. at night. Ajá. Ya ve, ya lo podemos armar ah, porque ya sabemos el sujeto. ¿Quién cocina? I. I okay. Exacto. ¿Y qué hace? Ah, cook, cocina, ¿verdad? Sí. What time? At night. Vaya, ah, tenemos la oración completa en el complemento, mire. Ah, uh -huh. okay. <ríe> Por ejemplo, I learn English. Mire. Mm -hmm. Igual, mire. Sujeto, verbo, complemento. Complemento. Uh -huh. Saben, teacher. Es que me ¿Eh? pongo nerviosa. Eso es lo que le pasa a usted cuando se pone nerviosa, se le nubla la mente. Ay, sí, teacher. Ajá. Se me nubla Porque la mente. ya al ponerlo así en orden, vea que ya se le hace más fácil y dice, eso ya lo sabía, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ajá. Pero sí, en el momento se le confunde todo a uno. Sí, o sea, todo se me nubla. Ajá, ajá. Pero sí. no se preocupe, para eso estamos, para poder apoyarla hoy. Está bien, muchas gracias, Tichel. Ok, ánimo, ánimo, siga dándole fuerte ahí. Mire, siga viendo los videos, haga los ejercicios, haga uh -huh. las tareas. Ahorita toca hacer el examen intermedio, que son las cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Que hay que hacer. Uh -huh. sí. Y participe en la discusión para que usted aprenda a redactar las oraciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para Está que bien. practique. Hágalas todas las, las discusiones para que usted practique. Oye. Está bien, teacher. Solamente le quería decir algo, teacher. Dígame. Como usted dejó las, las tareas el día viernes, vea. Fíjese que a mí en la semana se me complica todo porque yo madrugo. Entro uh -huh. a, las cuatro, a las cuatro de la mañana, me voy de mi casa y vengo noche. Híjole, ajá. Como salgo ajá. afuera de San Salvador, vea. Entonces para mí es más factible hacerlas el día sábado y el domingo las tareas. Ah, Ajá, porque como okay. yo madrugo, uh -huh. o sea, si, si me acuesto anoche, no me levanto. Pa pero procure que, el, es que fíjese que esto lo toma Insafor de la uh -huh. plataforma. Entonces uh -huh. procure que el sábado estén lo más temprano posible. Digamos, Ay, en la mañana que tiene que estar antes de mediodía todavía estirándose, ¿verdad? A las situaciones así. Pero, ah. pero no porque debe ser a las 8 de la mañana, ya deben estar pasadas todas. Todas. Está bien, Tiche. Entonces, este, usted procure, ¿verdad? No detenerse. Trabájelas hasta donde usted pueda. Uh -huh. Pero trate de trabajar adelantado. Digamos, vaya un poquito más. Si, si este fin de semana usted va a trabajar en, en la unidad 2, por ejemplo, trate uh -huh. de trabajar una de la unidad 3, ¿verdad? Ay, trate de trabajar una más, ¿verdad? Para uh -huh. que vaya avanzando, porque si no, sí se le va a ir quedando y al final le va a tocar una pesada, porque cuesta. Está Ajá. bien, Tichi. Vaya, pues. Lo voy a considerar entonces. Sí, muy ya. amable, Tichi. Cualquier cosa estamos a la orden para ayudar, ¿ok? Está bien, muy amable, Tichi. Vaya, pues, bueno. Con mucho gusto. Bye, bye, good night.